Hi, my name is Austin Zellner. I am a solutions engineer here with Kony, and I'm going to talk to you today about creating compelling user interfaces with our 5.0 product. Uh, in our studio here, this is our IDE. Uh, I've got a couple of projects to find here. Uh, this first one is going to create a user interface using just skins. We're not going to be relying on any images uh, outside of what comes inside the product. Uh, so I come in here, I can create a new skin. Uh, actually, I'm editing one that, that I created for this product. And you'll see here, I can change the skin. I can change this to uh, have uh, multiple colors, an image. Uh, I can pick an image or pick a color here to use. Uh, and have a gradient blending together here. Right? So by setting those, I've set the set the background there. Uh, I've got a label here, and again the same concept. I'm going to go in. I'm going to edit the skin. Right. Now, this is something I've already done. Now in this particular case, I'm going to change it from this uh, orange to uh, more of a pinkish color there. Okay. Apply that. You notice we can see the change right there, and uh, it gets applied there. Right, so I can see it on the screen, and here I'm going to edit my button. In this case here, I've edited both the color and some of the font properties. Right, so I went into the font, I've set it to be bold. Right, that's why it's standing out a little bit more there. And, uh, so I click OK and apply that. Now, I can use the preview function of the tool to see what this is going to look like. I don't have to do a build yet. I can preview on any one of these platforms. And in this particular case, I've already got my uh, preview running there. And we see right there, there's that pink color that I changed it to, right? So this interface was built up and it's, it's not the uh, uh, necessarily the best color palette combination, right? Uh, but this interface was built up using uh, just skins to apply it, right? Now, in this other project here, we'll see that you can get a much more uh, rich interface here using images. Right? And so what we have here is a, a HBox, a couple of HBoxes with uh, a bunch of buttons in there. Now, each one of those buttons has a piece of a larger image assigned to it. Now we have our, all of our sky skins there and all of our water skins. And what's been done is that one image has been split uh, horizontally uh, and vertically to create a set of images that will come together seamlessly and make it look like one large image map. Right? So I've picked the images, I've assigned them there. Right? Okay. And I can have uh, that, that grid background there. Right, uh, that's another skin. Okay. So when I click on that button, what's going to happen is, is I'm going to open this other form, and this form is going to show for me a view from the apartment uh, of the the button that I've clicked, and what the layout looks looks like. Right. So you can have a very uh, rich looking interaction uh, using images and applying those as part of the skin. Okay. So in this way, uh, you're only contained by how creative uh, your graphic artists are. You can take any, any layout, uh, just the same uh, constraints as you have now uh, in uh, whether HTML5 or native development. Uh, you, if you can imagine it, if you can have an artist envision it for you, you're able to translate it there into the Kony Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and build this uh, native uh, for both iPhone and Android. So I'm going to kick that build off, let that cook. Okay. And we'll skip a little bit of time there in the interest of the video time. And I'm going to open up uh, first the Android so you can take a look at what that looks like. And we're also going to take a look at the native iPhone so we can see. Now this is the Android, the native Android. And you see that 
image is now one combined map. Right? Before uh, we saw it, it was uh, split into separate pieces. And I click on that one section, and now I'm taken to this form. Right? And there we have the view from the apartment and the apartment's layout. Right? It's very, uh, very attractive there. And we see with the iPhone, again, the same concept. Those images are now forming one seamless map. And by clicking on one, I'm able to be taken to the form. Now, this was done very easily using skins and using images uh, to apply those skins. And again, the, the cons only constraint that you have here uh, is how good your images are. Right? So uh, we're able to create very simple interfaces using just skins. And we're able to create much more attractive interfaces by combining skins uh, and images Thank <laughs> you.